Accessing GBS Properties, 101, WRAV, FM, Radio Station. Date of Broadcast, December 13, 1963. Segment, Announcement of the National Access Initiative. Beginning Playback. In one of his first acts after his historic succession, President Lyndon B. Johnson's administration has announced an upcoming program that will revolutionize communication and bring critical home electronics into every American household. The National Access Initiative, as it's been named, is a program designed to ensure that all citizens have equal access to vital communication tools and ways to stay informed, fostering connectivity, security, and unity across the nation. Under this groundbreaking initiative, eligible American households will receive packages containing a myriad of electronics so that citizens may stay properly engaged with one another and remain knowledgeable regarding important events. The electronics such as telephones, televisions, and radios. These packages will also include items aimed at keeping families safe with devices such as smoke alarms, burglar alarms, and even flashlights. These things will empower individuals to not only stay involved in their communities, but to remain prepared for any emergency as well. President Johnson himself was quoted as saying that in this era of progress and innovation, it is crucial for every American to have the tools necessary as they navigate the challenges of modern life in an era of ever-increasing technological dependence. These electronics packages are being made available to American households through a partnership with world-renowned technology manufacturer Simeodyne USA. The technology giant's expertise in creating cutting-edge, revolutionary technologies over the past decades has made them a household name, and their gracious contribution to this initiative ensures that the devices provided will be of the highest quality. further enhancing the experience and benefits for American citizens. When asked for a quote during a press conference earlier this week, President of Simeodyne USA, Percival C. Rothwell, had a lot to say. The National Access Initiative represents a milestone in our nation's journey towards progress and inclusivity. It's a reflection of the American government and Simeodyne USA's unwavering commitment to empower every American citizen, regardless of age, location, or income, with the tools and resources needed to thrive in the electronic age. Operation Northwoods, 
and then that executive order involving the Federal Reserve, there are a lot of snakes in the grass. And it's about time that Kennedy got bit. At Simeon USA, we're building the future. And as the great, great grandson of our company's founder and its current president, I'll tell you one irrefutable fact, the most important one. All roads lead to connectivity. Without connectivity, we have no future. The more isolated individuals are from one another, the weaker they are. The more easily defeated they are, and the less likely they are to see the value of their own lives. Hey, hon, have you seen the car keys? Humanity has stood many times at the precipice of extinction. And the only reason we are still here today is because we stood there together. Simeon USA is here with you every step of the way. also stated that these monumental benefits won't only be made available to American households, but to police and fire departments, schools, and to small businesses as well. The Johnson administration has stated that while they are going to begin launching this landmark program right away, it will first be made available only in select areas as construction crews from coast to coast prepare to establish important infrastructure that will support the National Access Initiative program. Oh, 
wanted to green them for you. Mm -hmm. Yes, they look all shiny and new now. Here, come get them. Then you'll be able to see me. Johnson administration went on to say that their current projections for a nationwide release are for some time between mid-1966 and early 1967. Citizens will be mailed informational packets regarding the National Access Initiative, including information on how to apply as the program becomes available in their area. You've reached Alex Marsh and Tiffany Crisaldi. We're not able to get to the phone, so please leave a message after the tone and we'll get back to you as soon as we can.